think you'll tell you that thing. drag marks on the ground where there used to be a HG panel van there and a EHU the old FJ here she's a bit there you go green on green still has a few little bits in there hinges and stuff JU Been a good colour. Well, the H is looking a bit worse for wear. Hello. Pretty good rust wise along there. If you needed a couple of like a top quarter cut or something. I think that's is that Prem stainless. That little bit along there. Uh, yeah, I'll do it bike boots. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, they look totally stuffed, but there's still a couple of bits here and there you could use. Pretty bugger this one. Helping. A couple of dogs wander around. Hey, dog. We need to go for a walk with them dogs. Mate walking his dogs. <clears throat> He's just wandered off. They very friendly dogs, that's for sure. Bit more junk down there. I just had a quick walk. There's no no other cars. Just old drums and fences and assorted rubbish that the parks mob don't seem to want to clean up. You did tell me if I go throughout the road you'll find half a, a ute body or something someone's dragged out towards the road. So I'll check that out on the way. I reckon that's the one I rode past on the way in. You'd see something. But I came on a different road. Back out of the uh, 
VEKG or something like that. Yeah. Going. I don't see too many old safari wagons around anymore either. Oh, I've got a nephew who's an ad value now. And he's uh, got to come over and pick this up sometime. Oh, what yeah. he does is he pulls all the chrome and everything all up. Yep, yeah, still got all the. Still got the wind deflectors on the back, that's pretty cool. Yep. lived right on the beach at some point or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, vinyl roof hasn't done the gutters any favour either. I've never really noticed that. Learn something every day. Well, they try to anyway. before I do anything, so. Yeah, she, she, that's been a, been a bloody nice car, and it's time, that colour. Wow. That is like brand new. Even the interior light, everything in that is absolutely perfect inside. Stainless and that, everything's bloody beautiful. You got the typical old fuel spill. Yeah. Yeah, the old, uh, the old splash guards, they actually used to do a really good job. For a little bit of chrome.
You don't see the old X2 often, too often either these days. Nah, that's right. Still got the. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. Still got the factory air filter on it. Decent bit of rust in it. Jeez, I am. Um, that's excellent. Been sitting here a couple of footy seasons by the look of it. Yeah, it's been, I've been having years, it's parked in the shed. Got the coffee in the fucking shed collapse and laid on the roof and then yep. I picked it up. Brilliant. I wonder if I walk around the back to have a look. Yeah, I'm just look, I'm looking at there. looking at ways to walk around. Yeah, pretty pretty good in the body considering this one. Yeah, not too bad. <clears throat> that is green enamel. Yep. Still got the radio delete panel in good condition too on the dash. Perfect bummer. And he hit a roo on the way down. Oh, yep. Well, I reckon. So now it's just old on the front of the bonnet instead of hold. <laughs> I, uh, I reckon I can get that down there. Yep. How long has it been sitting here, do you reckon? Uh, probably 10 years. Yep. This will probably be the one where the bucket seats and all that will go into. Okay. <clears throat> 